Procate, it's a mega flutter UI kit built for the developers to design modern and user-friendly apps quickly without compromising the quality and without reinventing the wheel. And if you want to know more about the Procate, you can check out the promo videos. We will give the link in the i button. And in this tutorial, we will see how to use the integration and plugins of Procate in your project. So let's start with the following steps. So firstly, we will create a new project. If you have your project, then you don't have to do that. Then we will go into the given Procrit folders and we will find that integration and we will just copy and paste that code into the new project that we have. Then we will solve some package and function errors that you need. And finally, we will run the project and it will be seamlessly be integrated in your system. So let's go and see how to do that. So firstly, we will go into the files of Android Studio and in the new, we will create a new Flutter project and then we will click on next and after that we will select the project location so i will just selecting this and i will create a new folder you can select your own location however you want and after selecting that we will give a name that we want i am just giving a name that is integration demo and we'll just click on finish and it will create a new product project for you it will take some time according to your configuration so just wait for it and after our project has been made you will go into the main data of the project which is in the library and in that we will remove the unneeded things or the contents that we get default when you make a new project so i will just select all of them and remove it and in the container of the home i will create a container here now moving ahead we will go to our existing project folder that we provide and in that uh, you can go into the libraries and in the libraries you will find this integration folder and in that you have the screens and in the screens uh, we have this pdf reader so i will just select that online pdf reader and copy it from here now i will go into my new project you can go into your new or existing project so after that i will go into the libraries and i will create a new directory for the screens and in that directory i will paste this pdf reader code so now our code has been added and you can see there are some of the packages error and functions error. So I will firstly copy the name that is online PDF reader and I will add that instead of the container in our main dart. And after that, I will just import the library for this package into the main dart by just right clicking and selecting this. After that, I will go into the options and in that we will call the declaration or the usage of it which will take into the PDF viewer folder. In that you can see there are some errors regarding the packages. So we'll again go into our existing project and find those packages. So for that you have to go into the popsec.yamin and in that here you can see this we have utils. So I will just copy that and take it into our new project. And in that again we will go into the popsec yamin and paste it under this dependencies for our project. One thing that you have to make sure is that the version of the utils needs to be the same as we have provided in the project or else it is not compatible with your device. Again, go into our existing project and find the another package that was missing, which was Sync Fusion. And I will just select that again, copy it and take it to my new project. And I will just paste it below this utils and I will just sync it properly. And after that, I will just click on run pubget. So the process will run here. It will take some time according to the device you are using or your configuration. So just wait for it. And you can see that our pubget run has been completed. Now I will run the whole project. So I will just click on this and our process will start running. So just wait for it to complete. But you can see there is one error regarding your SDK version. So it's important to note that in Procate, you need to have a version greater than 21 and limited to 33, which is the newest version. So make sure in your device, it's more than 21. So for to change that version, we will go into our Android in that we have app and in the app we have build.gradle. So we'll go into that and we will find this compile SDK version and we will change it to 33. And also there is one more minimum SDK version to 21. So that's how you have to add it here and you will just save it. And after that, we will run our project by just going back to our Android or a project and run the process. 
and this process will take some time according to your configuration as i told you many times there are some uh, errors you can see which are just a warning you don't have to worry about anything for that and simply just wait for your pdf viewer to get run and integrated into your device so you can see our installation has been completed and now let me show you a preview in your mobile app how this pdf viewer will look so when you click on visual you will get this visual of pdf viewer this is our integration that you can use directly into your screens these are some common steps that you have to follow while using any integrations of the procade there might be some changes in the steps but it's almost same you will figure it out and you can just use it into any of the project you like so i will just complete it here you can use the procade just like what 2500 plus businesses and individuals who have already launched their app using our Procade. Develop your Flutter app 10 times faster with Procade today.